Here we have the Audi Q7, doing best to point out any marks, any imperfections and things like that. So start with the front right alloy and tyre here. And overall this alloy is in good shape. Uh, it does look as if it's had a refurb at some point, uh, just from the feel of it. Uh, you can feel that it has been done, but it's hard to tell unless you're right up close to it. Uh, you can see just where it's had like an old couple of scuffs, but overall it's in good condition. And on the front right tyre here, we've got nearly 7mm of tread, so absolutely loads on the front right tyre there. Now come around the right hand side, there's nothing too major going around the whole of the car, there's just a few little bits worth pointing out, so you've got a small, almost like a little dent there, about the size of a 5p coin, which is just worth pointing out. Uh, coming around the right hand side, and you've got a light scratch uh, just there, I mean some of that may polish out, if I stand a metre away, see just how small that actually is. Now come around the right hand side and on the back right passenger door uh, we have got a little bit of almost like lacquer uh, coming off just there. Again relatively minor for standard meter away you can see how small it is. A couple of little stone chips on the door and here we've got the back right alloy and tyre here as well. Again overall the alloy is in good shape but you have got a few more little chips and that on this one as well and you've got a Pirelli tyre and so we've just got a little bit of flaking uh, just at the top there and just little bits where it's been curbed and you can see it has had a refurb at some point and we've got on this one just over four mil of tread so it's running a little bit on the lower side but still plenty on there now coming around the back of the car here so of course you've got your rear parking sensors and you have got quite a few little light scratches on the back here, so just where someone's been loading something into the boot. Again, in my opinion, it's not that bad uh, for the age of the car, and it is what you can expect to get on a car like this. Just a few more along the back bumper there, another little bit that's been touched in. And you have got the electronic tailgate on this one as well. Of course, you've got the seven seats. And it's worth pointing out, it's just a few light little scratches on the plastic, just all on the inside here. Again, in my opinion, it's not that bad. Now coming around the back left hand side here. And of course you've got the back left alloy and tyre as well. Again, this one in pretty good shape overall. And you have just got little bits uh, where it's got a few little chips here and there, but nothing sort of major. And you've got nearly four mil of tread on that one as well. So again, a little bit on the lower side, but still legal and plenty on there really. Now coming around the left hand side. And I've just noticed that you've got a little bit of a scratch here that's been touched in. If you ignore the uh, lines from the water, but You've got a little bit of a scratch that's been touched in there. I can't see anything else up the side of this car. And you've got the front left alloy and tyre. And overall this one's in really good shape. And usually it's this one that gets sort of hit the most as it were. Uh, but that's all really quite tidy. Again, it, it looks as if all four wheels have had a refurb. A lot more tread on this tyre as well. Nearly 7mm of tread there. So absolutely plenty on there. Now coming around the front left hand side we've just got a few light little stone chips down here which you will get. Like I said the age of it, slightly bigger stone chip just there and you've almost got a bit of a, a couple of stone chips just there that have been touched in as well. Again from about a metre away and they are relatively small. And a few more little chips and a few little marks just there. Like I say, there's nothing major on it, they're just all sort of little bits of age that you do get. And again, another little chip there that's been touched in. Otherwise, the rest of the bonnet's all pretty good. And you have just got the one key uh, with this one as well. If I show you the inside, so you've got the driver's door here. That's all good. Driver's half leather S-line seat here. 
that's all pretty good overall just a bit of wear on the bolster there and you have just got a little bit of a mark just a bit of an indent in the seat there but otherwise that's all good now if i just show you the inside as well and we've got just over 79,000 miles on the clock on this one which you should just be able to see now <clears throat> but as you can see that's all running exactly as it should be obviously we'll get them to put a can of fuel in before it goes out as well but no warning lights on the dash apart from the low fuel steering wheel all in good condition got your automatic lights just down there obviously this all works exactly as it should as well and um, you have got the sat nav obviously when i uh, put it into reverse you have the parking system come up on there as well You've got your heated seats all works exactly as it should front left seat here again just a bit of wear just at the top there front left door just got a few light little uh, almost like little dents just in the side of that silver bit of trim otherwise rest of that's all really nice and tidy and again just on I've just noticed on this silver bit of trim as well just a few light little dents and marks back as well so you've got the back right door here and I believe yeah so you have got that that just stays open back of a driver's seat there just a little bit of a mark almost like a little tear uh, just in the leather there but again it is quite small you have got a uh, front and rear floor mats in this one as well and the back left door and the middle seats here they're all quite good to be fair from what I can see of course you've got the Isofix fittings just in there just a few little marks on the seat it might come out with a bit of a clean and then of course you've got the rear seats just here as well there we go that's the audi q7 overall in good condition for carts a few years old thanks for watching